Hello? Oh, hey, it's you. Um, do you want me to put Alex on, or...? No, you called for me. Okay. <laughs> um, let me just make sure I can talk. No, okay, I think they must be busy with something. I don't hear them. Um, so what did you want to talk to me about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been thinking about last night a lot. It's uh, all I've been able to think about, actually. How about you? Glad to hear it. I was a little worried that I'd be the only one who was that obsessed, even though that's obviously stupid. I uh, really want to see you again. Do you want to come over tonight? Mm, it's probably easier than me coming to you, at least while my car's still having some work done. Getting the bus across the city is horrible. Getting the bus across the city is horrible. Yeah, if you come round 7pm, Alex should be out. They're going to evening classes at the moment, photography or something. We'll have the place to ourselves for at least a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. I can't wait either. See you soon. Oh, uh, text me when you get here instead of ringing the doorbell. Just in case. Hey, come in, come in. Yeah, Alex is out of their class, as expected. It was a bit touch and go for a bit. They thought they might not be able to make it in because of the snow. They managed it in the end, though. Hmm, they actually put winter tyres on a couple of weeks ago. I'm never so prepared for things like this. I don't know how they have the foresight. <laughs> uh, let me take your coat. Sorry, is that weird? I guess I wouldn't normally do that. Just feels like everything's changed now. <laughs> I don't want to make things weird, though. I mean, I can give you your coat back if you like. <laughs> no, I thought not. Oh, you brought wine. Good thinking. Thank you. Not a fan of the beers I had last time. <laughs> no, me neither. It was whatever was cheapest, so that's really not a surprise. Not good beer. <laughs> well, I would have spent a little more if I'd known you were coming. Let's have some of that wine. I'll pour. Hmm. That's not bad. Now, what do you want to do? I didn't really have anything particular in mind. Whatever we do, if I'm spending time with you, I'll be happy. Mm hmm. Sure. Let's just get comfy. <clears throat> so, sorry, I'm so used to only ever hanging out with you when Alex is around. Even though I've been thinking about this all day, I'm not sure what to say. No, you're right. Maybe I don't need to say anything. Maybe we just need to get closer. Mm. We've spoken plenty of times over the years. This is what we've really been missing. I'm really crazy for you, you know. There have been so many times when I've come this close to saying something. It's been unbearable. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't think we'd get into it that quickly. But sure, fuck. Did you hear that? What was that? A oh, fuck. I think that's Alex. Yeah, no, it must be. I don't know why they're back so early. It's only been like ten minutes. Fuck, let me check my phone. Ah, oh, shit. They messaged me a few minutes ago. Looks like the class was cancelled because of the snow. I guess nobody else could make it in. I missed the notification. Shit. Ah. Uh. Look, quick, get into the understairs cupboard. Yeah, I'm coming in there with you. <laughs> Watch it.
we'll just do that a bit earlier than usual. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'd rather not be stuck in this cupboard all evening. Well, I guess it being with you does make it a bit easier. But still, it's not exactly comfy, is it? <laughs> no, I told Alex I was going out this evening, so they're not expecting me to be here either, let alone you. I just panicked when they asked if I had any plans before they went out. Normally I'd just say no and that I was going to stay in. But as soon as they asked, I started thinking about you, and I panicked. I, uh, I told them I was going on a date with someone. I think I've gone out to a bar. Mm. Now I wish I had. Taking a bus sucks, but it would be easier than this. And yeah, I guess I also could have just stayed out there and told them the date cancelled on me or something. But I didn't think about that, and now here we are. It's not all bad, though. It's still nice to be this close to you. <laughs> this feels so silly. Mischievous. Like we're back in school or something. Hmm. You and Alex were friends even back then, weren't you? I don't think I really knew you very well back then. Probably a good thing. <laughs> I was a few years above you. All changed now, I guess. Shit, hold on. Shh. I think... Fuck. They're coming this way. I thought they'd go straight upstairs. Okay, it's, it's fine. They're probably just going to have a drink or something and go. It'll be a couple of minutes, Tops. Mm, maybe I am just telling myself that. Please go along with it, for my peace of mind. <laughs> wasn't what I meant when I told you to shut me up, by the way. <laughs> but I guess it worked. Just replaced my rambling with a noise of a different kind. <sighs> I'm kind of flustered now. <laughs> this really isn't an ideal situation to have a semi. <laughs> no, I don't really mind. But shh, hold on. I'm just listening for... I can't hear them. Maybe they went upstairs or something? I guess we would have heard if they'd gone right above us like that. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess we just have to wait a few minutes. Just stay quiet and hopefully they'll go out again. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of fun. How do you think Alex would react if they found us? I really have no idea. I've been thinking about it, trying to figure out how to eventually tell them, or if I even want to. I guess we have to at some point, right? It'd almost be easier if we were discovered in here than the decisions made for us. But, uh, I'm in no rush. So, how to fill the time until Alex leaves us alone again. Outside the door for all we know. I could open it. 
just fooling around with that. You sure? Hey Alex. Hey. 